In this video today, we're gonna to look at what to do if you think a broker has incorrectly stopped you out. Stay tuned. Hey guys, well, welcome to you. So if you're trading CFDs, if you're spread betting, if you're trading spot, anything other than actually on the exchange. If you're trading on the exchange, it is what it is. You know, brokers are really just putting exchange orders in most of the time. Stop losses are most of the time executed as they should be. Very, very occasionally, you might as well get a trade busted on NASDAQ, but that's really, really rare. And, you know, it's not something generally that happens to most of us. What I'm talking about in this situation is things like, hey, you're in a trade overnight um, and the market comes up and it stops you out overnight. Uh, you're in a trade uh, on some sort of equity, a share or something in the morning and then it stops you out and you think, wait, wait, hang on a second, it didn't really trade there. So what do you do if that happens? What's the kind of, what have you got, to, what can you do? Well, some people say you just got to get on with it and you probably had something to consider depending on what's going on. However, if you genuinely think, you know what, I didn't think I should have been stopped out there because don't forget guys, each of these people have different rules. And I'm talking from experience here where often, maybe not so much now because technologies improve loads, often it would be the case where you've been stopped out on an erroneous price, you've been stopped out incorrectly based on their stop rules. And you know, most of the time, if they've genuinely done it by accident or they've done it, you know, and, and thought they'd get away with it, unlikely, you know, there's not going to, you know, the myth out there, they're going to stop hunting and stuff. If there's a reputable broker that's regulated, that that's an unlikely event. If it's unregulated and it's in the middle of nowhere, then possibly, and this is not going to work for you anyway, because they're just unregulated and it's the Wild West. But this is someone where it's probably erroneous. The first thing to do, guys, is to call them up. You ring up, you speak to a dealer. You want to speak to the dealer, not the sales team, not the customer service, not the technical helpline. You want to speak to a dealer because they're used to the price they get to. So you speak to a dealer, account number, name, etc. Hey, I was in so-and-so trade, it stopped me out overnight. Can you just check to make sure that's correct? Now these guys are there to do the right thing on the whole and they'll look through and they'll say, okay, uh, yes, Mr. Smith, um, I see yeah, you, you had a short on the yen and it spiked up, you got to stop off here. Oh right, yes. Um, well, unfortunately, yeah, we did tr we did trade up there. There was X million dollars traded up there on the bank, so you're going to be stopped out. That's the way it is. Or they might say, actually, you know what? It was an erroneous it was an erroneous tick on our feed, or it didn't trade up there. It was just a spread widening, and our rules say it has to trade there. Whatever it may be, and they might refund. You might say, okay, we'll have cancelled that, and we'll put you back in the trade. Um, you, it's worth a shot. Now you don't try, you, know, you don't ring up and you get all angry and go, oh, you stopped me out. You just say, oh, can you? Just look at that and just make sure that was executed correctly and then we'll do it they they are there to help you out the majority of the time they they want you to stay there as a customer they're not there to try and you know pick you out um like i say regulated kind of big brokers not there to pick you off another one might be uh, let's say you're in a stock in the morning and this used to happen uh, you know quite regularly uh, th let's say the um the execution criteria of the stock was that your size had to trade at a level now this is this is very, very dependent on the broker. Some brokers say, hey, you just got to trade there. And in the real exchange, often it's got to just trade there depending on what you've stopped. Now, you can put different stops in and say that it's got to have a certain size has got to trade there. So you're not just uh, you're not just taken out by one kind of share or one contract. It might say, well, at least 10 or 100 or 1,000 has got to trade before my stop's triggered. So you can, there are various ways you can execute stops. So you might find with your CFD spread bet or spot broker, they have a rule that says it's got to trade a certain number of shares of units whatever you're talking about the example of shares here of shares before your stop is executed now that might not be the case it might be that anything trades there you don't know but let's say you've been stopped out let's say let's use an example on the board here let's say you're at you know 95p to 97p really big spread early in the morning um, and you've got to stop at, at 95 and really you know, it comes along, it trades, I don't know, like five shares at 95 and then immediately goes 96 bid and then the rest of the day goes up and you've been stopped out. Now, if the criteria for the broker is that it's got a trade, let's say you've got, a, I don't know, 5,000 share position, 
Uh, if it hasn't traded at least 5,000 shares, you might not be stopped out. Like I say, it does depend on the broker and their rules, but same thing applies. Ring up, speak to a dealer, Mr. Smith, account balance, account number, so-and-so, so-and-so. Um, hey, can you just check? I've been stopped out on ABC this morning at 10.02 or 8.02, whatever it may be. I had a stop at 95, did it trade there? And very often, if the rule is that it's got to be your size, they'll look back at the time and sales, the level two, and they go, actually, sir, madam, uh, Mrs. Smith, you're right, it only traded five shares there, so we're going to cancel that stop because our rules say that it's got to trade at least X amount. Like I say, again, I'm repeating myself a little bit, but it does depend on the broker and it's worth a shot. And if you're polite and friendly with them, at least you know for next time as well, because then you can adjust your stop loss. Now you should probably know how stops are executed, but this is sometimes a little bit of an anomaly, right? Occasionally, if you get a, like a few shares trade at a level and you get stopped out 20,000 units, you might be like, well, okay, maybe I need to have myself a couple of ticks under if I'm trading in that manner, or maybe I have to adjust how I trade because I don't want to be caught out by that again. Or maybe you're like, you know what happens every now and then, um, it's not going to be a problem. I'm, I'm going to take it every every so often. So that's what happens if you think your broker has stopped you out incorrectly. If it's you think it's suspect that it's a bit more, now this is most of the time, guys, most of the time, they will say, yeah, we'll fix it for you, sir, madam, no problem. And you hang the phone up, you're happy, you're back in the deal. Or they'll say no, that, and then explain to you why. Like I say, most brokers are pretty good about this. If, however, small minority, if you're trading with a broker who's unregulated, who probably you shouldn't be trading with in the first place. First thing, make sure you trade with a regulated broker. I've done a video on that. But if you kind of finding this is happening, get out of the, get out of the, get out of the, um, the account. You know, close it off, take your money out while you can. If you are getting stopped out incorrectly, you know that it's incorrect, like they're widening the spread. And again, I've done a, trick, a, a video on tricks of brokers, widening the spread incorrectly, stopping you out at levels that no other broker has. You know, you say you've been stopped out at you know 101 and every other broker you look at didn't even go above 100. I, uh, you know, and you think, well, this is this is a bit uh, suspicious. Just move. Just go to another broker, guys. There's loads out there, and I can stick to a regulated one. You can't be worrying about your broker trying to screw you over all the time. You need to forget it and have someone that you trust. But anyway, if you genuinely think you've been stopped out incorrectly, that's the thing. Ring up, speak to a dealer, explain what's happened. They'll look at it, and nine times out of ten, they'll sort it out for you, whether in your favour or not. Hope that's helped. Take care. Bye bye.